everyone, how y'all doing out there? I'm glad you guys stopped by. I'm glad you came back. Um, this is card making number two for Christmas. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, started on my tent text today. And I don't know how long it takes to work, but I can't wait to quit smoking. I'm excited about that. So what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna make these cards. Um, the cutout, this cutout, I cannot remember where I got this cutout from. It was, um, I think, you know, like those, uh, project packets you get at Hobby Lobby. It might have come out of there, but I'm not sure. I've already done this one and this one. Um, felt like I needed to add something besides that. Now, in the background, you see, you might be able to see the green. It's um, pine, pine tree needles. In this one, it's a pine tree theme all the way across. Um, and the one that I'm going to work on now is with the music notes. And this one will say, let there be peace on earth. And that came out of this Paper Studios stack, Pine Street Square. Um, yeah, you've seen me using this one up here for the um, diagonal um, Christmas cards, but I'm going to be using the music note one this time. Um, well, I spilled all my paper all over the place. Now to make these little corner cuts, I'm using this side punch, and it's Romantica from Fiskars, and it actually has three different edge punches on it, but I'm using this one right here. Um, and from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby, I'm getting, I got the value pack note cards. I use them as, because they come with the envelopes, 50 white cards and 50 envelopes. Um, and they're from Paper Studio, regularly pressed at $6.99. I use them for my cards. And if you wait for um, Hobby Lobby to put, uh, they always, it seems like every other week, they put the Paper Studio products on for 50% off. You can get it cheaper than that. Okay. And as my side thing, just a minute, we'll go ahead and do it this way. Um, of course, using my Tombow. And I'm going to stick this down first. I'm going to use a piece of paper here so I can, because I have a tendency to have to clean up my mat all the time. Anybody who uses runners knows what I'm talking about. It's pain. Um, and I like to make sure that it sticks. So, uh, okay. Now, here's my uh, note card. I pretty much just eyeball it. And then place it down. Now, here's, here's the next piece that's going down. Um, people layer and it's actually pretty layered. Um, I used, last year when I first started um, doing cards, I uh, didn't have an ounce of a clue on what I was doing. <clears throat> I knew I wanted to make cards, but 
I didn't know how. So I have taken the time to learn for this year. There we go. Um, and then put the sentiment down. And I'll put it right here. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Little man wants attention. I've been trying to decipher whether last year I had bought um, these on clearance Jolie's Boutique um, these are Christmas trees and they're beautiful they really are and or I bought these at Dollar General for a dollar there were five in here I don't know if I want to use that um, because I really I probably could take that off because that says to and from and I'm not using the to and from thing. Um, Alright, let's see. Uh, one thing I'm going to do while it's flat. Alright, let's see. I think I'll use the trees because they're starting to fall apart. Um, so, yeah, we need to use them. Um, I think we'll use this big one with the, um, with the wreath on it. And I'm going to have to put a little sticky stuff on here because it's, the sticky stuff is about gone, so. And there. And then we're gonna have to move this down. <laughs> Is it a little big? All right, we'll put it down at the bottom. Then we'll put the tree right there. And. I haven't thought of this, what, I, what kind of sentiment I want to put in there yet, but there we go. One Christmas card. So now we have three Christmas cards using the cut apart from um, a kit that I had. So there we go. And this has got a little. It's not jingling, but this one jingles. Hmm, not wanting to jingle. What's up with that? Anyway, there we go. Three Christmas cards. I hope you guys find this project a little easy. I hope you try it. Um, if you have not yet subscribed and would like to do so, please hit that little red subscribe button down below. Um, there's more cards to come. I've got a few more that I want to show you. Um, of course, I did not. I ended up not liking...
not liking the Christmas cards. Uh, the arrow Christmas cards, the ones that had the stamps on the inside, so I ended up putting that wood with snowflakes on it inside of them. So um, I'll have to use a different type of a sentiment inside because I just it just didn't look right and I didn't like it. So. But there we go, and you can put whatever you want on the inside. I'm trying to think of a way of using these bows on my Christmas cards. Um, and I have a lot of these that I bought last year. I have a lot of stuff from last year that I am going to attempt to use this year. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions about what to do, how to um, use this in a Christmas card, let me know. I'd love to hear suggestions on this because I've been, last night I was trying to figure it out. Um, so, that's it for this Christmas card tutorial. Um, so, yeah. I hope you give it a try. Um, and thank you for stopping by. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all of my friends, which you guys are. Um, if you want to be part of the friend group, help me out, join with me, hear my complaining, my... Um, fight with the cigarettes, uh, hear about how I'm doing with them, uh, hit subscribe. Leave me a comment about what you guys would think. Think of how you guys would use this on a Christmas card now. has to be a Christmas card. Um, also, like and share. I'll talk to you guys later. I am so thankful that you stopped by. Please stop by again and have a blessed weekend. Hugs from me to you. Bye-bye.